This is actually my mum's car still, technically. My job is to clean it up and get it ready for sale and sell it. Um, and boy, have I got a job ahead of me. So yeah, I'm in the project, the Mitsubishi. Um, this has a few issues with mainly traction control related lights. So I'm just gonna have a look and see if this standard diagnostic kit can pick it up. It's really echoey in this car, bizarrely. Um, but yeah, it flashes up a warning light about the transfer case and as a traction control one. So I've been told that could be due, due to balancing of wheels. It had some weird wheels on it before, but I think someone's actually just broken one of the sensors. So let's find out what we can find out. Communication error. Let's try with the engine on, see if it has a bit of life in it. By the way, those are the, the lights that you've got. You've got this one flashing because the transfer, and those two for the uh, trash control. How strange. Right, so I just had a look at, let to look it up, but um, <clears throat> apparently this particular year, or up to 2007, the diesel <laughs> showguns weren't OBD2 compliant. Surprises me, but also doesn't. If you look into the history of this car, you realise that this is a very old car that they kept facelifting for a very long time. Anyway, not to worry, because there's a lot of uh, things on the internet for me to look at and to uh, try and diagnose. One thing that kept popping up was the switches. Um, there's five switches on top of the transfer case, and apparently one goes and the whole thing's like, nah, no thanks, mate. So the easiest way is just to replace them all, but you can pull them off one by one and test them, blah, blah, blah. It's 60 quid for a whole load of them, so it kind of seems all right. However, before I buy parts, I'd like to do a bit more diagnosis. I did what any sane person would do in this situation. I contacted the good folk of Facebook. So I joined a Facebook group and immediately some come back with an answer about reading codes on this. They also think that the traction lights are separate from the diff light, which is odd because I've seen different people say different things about that. Um, either way, I found a way of reading the codes and it's um, pretty old school, I like it. So I've got this, web, I've got this uh, Pajero Guru thing up and essentially you just bridge a couple of pins. Um, I think it's one and nine. Nine's earth, isn't it, or whatever. And then the whole dashboard will blink. So the check engine light for your engine fault codes, ABS for ABS, center diff lock for the transfer codes, and the end gear light for the automatic transmission fault codes. And then it's a bit like Morse code, it's long flashes and short flashes. So let's see if it works, shall we? Sounds interesting, I'll give it a shot. I am bridge one long, two long, three long, Is that a code 33? Maybe. Right, so looking at this chart, transfer case codes, code 33, transfer position switch system. Well, that would make sense. Well, that was a good, that was good. We've, we've diagnosed it without a computer. We've used old school technologies. I'll just show you the bridging that I did. It's uh... <laughs> A bit of solder wire, so let's pop that out. And then everything. Oh no, it's still going. Oh no, that's just flashing normally now. Okay. There you go. Right then, she's been cleaned. I didn't do it myself because I'm lazy, but looking a lot better. Although the key marks are a bit more uh, recognizable now. That. Um, very nice. People are very nice, are they? And you can see the cup holders, they can clean that, but I've got a plan. I've got a plan for all of this. Because, yeah, it already smells better in here, but not quite because of this. Um, I had a look on eBay though, and these units, I just searched Shogun um, drinks holders or whatever, and uh, these are separate. These pop out on clips. So. I'm going to remove it and I'm going to just going to throw it in a bucket of hot water and leave it for a few hours 
after I've scraped out the remainder of what's in there, really. Ugh, wish me luck. I'm genuinely scared that when this goes, I'll go bang and all this goo in it will just fly all over the interior. I really... <laughs> it's just... Oh, it's, it's tight. Oh, I just clipped back down. This is a two-hand job. Right, uh, that's removed, but... Right. Hot, hot fairy washing up liquid water. And uh, I'll pull it out in a couple of hours, probably. Leave it there to soak. It's time. Just look at this. It's taking a lot of heat to get it off. These come off all right. These are quite easy. You just lift off. Um, the rest of it comes off in bits. It's just a bloody nightmare. All right, still got sticky stuff on there, but the actual... God, it's everywhere. It should be down here, sweep it up later. Yeah, the actual thing's off. That's the main part for me. The main pain in the ass. And I'm gonna try and use my Tried and trusted method for sticky stuff. WD. Everyone has WD-40, don't they? You've got to have WD-40 um, in your toolbox, all similar. Other brands are available, but I'm sure. Yeah, so just leave that on it for a little while and hopefully um, it'll start lifting some of the sticky stuff. Next, I've got a D chrome bad boy. I can't wait to get these off. Just so horrible. Garbage. First pass of the WD. Most of it off. I'm gonna do one more, and then uh, I'll actually do a bit of a, a bucket and sponge on that bit and rinse it, I guess. But uh, yeah, it's going all right. That's more than a little bit annoying. It's very annoying. I imagine it was already cracked because you can see the dirt in the crack, but still, um, I'm gonna have to do a bit of, get a bit funky with the super glue and try and get this apart at the same time. Hurrah. You join me at the de-aidification station. Grim, grim, grim. Uh, I can clean and see what we're working with first. Residue, but all right. So, just easier to do when they're off the car, isn't it? So, um, yeah, I've used a bit of our good friend Gorilla Glue on that, and there's some tape holding it for now. But um, that'll do. Don't need anything too fancy for that. But I thought we'd have a look at what's going on with this because it's been in there for a while. Bloody hell, it's hot. Look at that. Say so that's you know some rinsing away from being okay again. Really. Not bad at all. God, it is minging. It is minging. I could hope for really. I think, you know, it doesn't actually smell anymore, it just smells like fairy liquid. Sound. Mm. Grease. 
Then grease me up, woman. A bit better. The door actually used to stick, but now it opens, which is all right. So yeah, still some things to do on this. Um, headlight polish. And yeah, just bits and bobs really. Um, and then it's on some mechanical stuff. Should be fun. But yeah, I think the tidy up's getting there.